<clears throat> All right. I think that we are ready to go. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Hopefully well for all of you. Today, we are back to Final Fantasy Tactics. I did a bunch of... Not a bunch. I did a fair amount of power leveling off screen. Um, hopefully. Well, I did a fair bunch of power leveling off screen, and then, um, before I was able to save at a decent point, I lost a bunch of progress just because I got killed in a random battle. Um, so hopefully, I didn't lose too much progress. But we can figure that out by looking at the party roster here. Okay, so Smug Wendy's still a knight. Gilbard is our black mage. We've got two characters as archers right now, just to kind of help them get... Hi, kitty. Uh, get a couple extra levels. Um, one of these is going to go monk, probably Arby's. And then we still have Adita as our chemist. Um, yeah, so that's what we've got going on. Last time we uh, rescued the Marquis. And now we're trying to head to Igros Castle. Hey, no random Bataru. Yes, good kitty. You're a good kitty, I like you. What madness possessed you that you would abandon your post and traipse about the desert? The desert. Fuck me. Silence is not the answer, I seek. Speak and be quick with it. Twas I forced Smug Wendy to go. Was that the way of it, Smug Wendy? Delita led your better judgment astray? No, I went of my own choosing. The fault lies not with him. Tis Smug Wendy's noble disposition that guides his tongue, my lord. It is not as he... You needn't be false on my behalf, Delita. I was the one... I, it was I who chose to disregard orders. Hi, kitty. Good kitty. Meow, meow, meow. My kitty's being a good kitty this morning. Might I pose a question, Smug Wendy? What purpose do laws serve when even those who would enforce them choose not to pay them heed? Adherence to the rule of law is a knight's solemn duty. It falls upon us as Beelves to bear the burden of example. Is it your intent to live up to your name or to drag it with you through the mire? Damn. Forgive me, Lord Brother. I believe the point is made, is it not, Dice Darg? Terrible names. You must not let the how of it steal your eyes away from the what. Their rescue of the Marquis was no small feat. It is the way of young men to be impetuous in their haste to do great things. We were not unlike them once. To coddle them is to do them disservice, your grace. They need to learn integrity. So you are Lord Dysodarg's younger brother. Rise, son of Galion. Indeed, you are the very ghost of Barbaneth. His fire burns in your eyes. I can see it. Such strength and vitality would be wasted atop castle walls. The graphical polishing the PSP version of this game got was really good. Our campaign against the Corpse Grade draws near its end. I will permit you to join the final stage. Coordinated strikes are to be made on a number of their dens ere long. You will lead one of those assaults. Very well, Lord Brother. Lord brother! Give me half a second. Just want to check some stuff. My apologies, your grace. It was not of your doing, Dice Darg. In truth, it serves only show the caliber of the men we were dealing with in Gustav. The man we were dealing with, excuse me. A change in plans was inevitable once the fool went and staged the kidnapping within our very borders. And let us not forget, they did save the Marquis' life. He will now be honor-bound to acquiesce. Hmm. Give me a second. I want to update the stream information here. I want it to reflect the fact that we're playing War of the Lions and not the regular tactics. My apologies, you grace. Oh, in the end, your brother's deeds have placed us in quite the favorable position. The king's life hangs by a thread. We must move quickly now. Indeed, my dear friend. I trust you will not fail me. Alright, that should be updated. 
Let's see. Alright, so we've got to... Wait, blah, 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 blah. Fuck me. We've got to make our way down here to the Brigand's Den for a fight. Uh, I'm probably wrong, but this might be one of the last things in this uh, little area here. Uh, we will see. Alright. While we're here, I actually want to buy some stuff. Uh, specifically, I want to buy stuff for our, archer, our archers. I have zero Daura. Okay, I guess we're going to have to grind out some levels here. To, or not some levels, we're going to have to grind out some gel here, or gel, however you pronounce it. Um, in order to actually get some uh, bows for our archers here. Uh, having the having the longbows and not crossbows on the archers is actually really good because they can they, they become a lot more versatile with those. Um, <clears throat> the crossbows honestly kind of act like pistols, and um, which are in this game by the way. There are pistols in this game, uh, but we'll be getting to those at another point in time. God damn! All sorts of notifications today, and they're mowing my lawn. I. This has got to be the second time this week they've mowed the fucking lawn. I don't know. If you guys have opinions about mowing the lawn, you should leave them in the chat. I don't know. Let's see. Alright, we can't do anything yet, so we're gonna just do our little fundamental focus thing. Just power up here while we wait for everybody to get over here and then one-shot the lot. using Tailwind on myself. As soon as we can get him, or the sooner we can master uh, Knight with Smug Wendy and get him out of that class, the better. Counter-attack, Uru. It's all just to get job points. She's not going to be able to get hit by anybody back there, so even if she does... Uh, manage to do a lot of damage to one of our characters. She'll just be able to heal him, and nobody's going to be able to hit her, so. Man, these damn... It's like they're mowing my actual window. I don't know if y'all can hear that rattle, but goddamn, is it kind of annoying. Smug Wendy's speed increased by Juan! All right, time to kill a chocobo, I guess. Oh shit, that did a ton of damage, actually. All right, so step one is getting people around. <sighs> wow, the amount of damage they do with just physical strength is crazy. Apparently not her, though. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know what's different between those two. Let's see. That is a guaranteed kill. You're gonna wait right there. Alright. I'm gonna assume fire is gonna be the best skill for this one here. So the chocobo's down, the chocobo's are a real problem, because the chocobo can heal. And when I say problem, at this point, not really. Um, but um, especially early on, because we are still technically early on, uh, they are definitely, or can be problems. As a knight, you should be able to almost kill this thing out, right? Yep. Oh! Okay, that works! <laughs> Let's see, he could use a potion. I'm not sitting here grinding out job points for all these characters, specifically because at this point I would rather focus on 
just getting through this stuff really quick to get the gill. There's 60 there, so I should be able to hit you with Fira, Fira, however you want to pronounce that. Oop. Nope. I'm switching between so many games that I can never just, like, perfectly remember all the controls now. It's kind of kind of annoying, but it could be worse. Alright, we'll focus you as well. If the fire spell doesn't kill you, everybody else will. <laughs> oh man, my freaking nose. Whew, excuse me. So how is everybody doing this morning? It looks like people are starting to show up. Alright, you're going to take a slap to the face here. Hey, and the damage actually hits you. Very nice. And the shield did its job, too. I'm glad he tackled her and not somebody with a counter tackle on. Uh, specifically because... Let's see, can I get a potion on him? Nah, he's good. Uh, specifically because you don't get uh, experience and job points for counter tackle. So if you kill a character with counter tackle, you don't get any experience um, or any job points for that kill. I don't, I don't know why I'm moving him up. I'm just going to have him do an accumulate there, but no big deal. Huh. You know what? I'm going to wait half a second here. I mean, she's going next, so she's going to get this kill. Spreading around the job points a little bit is not too bad. Alright, hopefully by doing this... Oh, wow! He's gonna get the... Hey, I found a high potion. Cool. <sighs> Punch! Alright, we should hopefully have enough gill at this point to uh, purchase bows for our archers. Because going into battle under-equipped is a bad, bad idea. 3,100. Yeah, that's plenty. Perfect. Might even be able to upgrade our uh, uh, knight's uh, equipment here as well. All right, let's go. <clears throat> let's go into fitting. There we go. Not really worried about the blind knife. Nothing here. Add an extra 20 hit points to uh, Smug Wendy here. That'll work out. Except that I can't afford one of those things. So let's put let's put the Iron Helm back. There we go. Wait, I've already done that. Okay, we're good. Let's, uh, let's save first. And then continue on. All right, once we get a little bit further in, we'll probably end up... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Announced Ace Combat Unknown Skies yesterday. Oh, they announced another Ace Combat game? I totally missed that. That's cool. Also, hello, Thunder. You know what? I'm cool with another Ace Combat game. The last one, the last one was a little weird, and the ones on PlayStation 2, um, and the, the one that was basically the PlayStation 2 game, um, on, uh, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, those were pretty good games. I enjoyed them. Also, how you doing today? Our contact with the Brigade is lost, and I fear we may be lost as well. Oh, this one's a tough one, if I remember correctly. How could you say such a thing? The battle is not even, not yet even fought. We mustn't give in to despair, not until the nobles answer for all they've wrought. I'm wrought, you girl. It ought not have been like this. My brother was too soft, too indecisive. From everything I've seen, your guys' little rebellion was doomed from the start. The enemy! Alright, let's kill the shit out of these peoples. I owe you a debt of gratitude for rescuing the Marquis. I pray I am able to repay it even a little by aiding you in this. Okay, cool. So basically, we have an extra buddy. Defeat Meliuda. Strange name. Um, they changed... They went so far... Um, 
uh, with this retranslation that that exists in this game, as to change even the spelling of people's names. Um, not that it really does much, like it doesn't change context or anything like that, but it, I think it gives you a better idea of the pronunciation. Um, I, I think it's really interesting, honestly. Yeah, Thunder, it's... Yeah, I mean, we're going to get what we're going to get at this point. And I'm not too concerned about it. Alright, so steps one through five is taking out that healer in the front there. Uh, especially since uh, that healer seems to be using black magic. Uh, that thing needs to go... One hit with a knight. There we go. Let's see, can I actually get in there? No, I cannot, so I'm gonna move my chemist up here as bait. Actually. Ooh. Perfecto. Alright, that's gonna take out both of them. That saves my archer for other dumb bullshit. 66% chance of hitting for 24. Why not try it? Hey, good shot. So that's part of the reasons the archers are um, important for this is because of their their they're incredibly versatile. Uh, cuz they can aim over walls and over people and everything like that. All right, we're going to hope we're going to hope two black magics here will be enough to take out all of these. He hit himself with thunder for some damn reason. That was stupid of him. But, uh... That saves our chemist the trouble. Uh, although we'll be taking out this thief next, looks like. Um, with this one, we only have to hit Meluda, uh, who is uh, actually a real tough nut to crack. Um, just because she's a knight, and knights take a lot of damage. Um... Whew, excuse me. There we go. Okay, this is uh, this is working out well. Um, but the fact that we have so many ranged characters right now means we should have actually a pretty easy time taking out a lot of these uh, characters here. Okay, yeah, you use life on her. All right, what are you going to do? Oh, you're trying to charm me. That's not good. Hey, it missed. Good. Um, that's one of the big... Um, like useful things that uh, thieves can do is they can charm members of the opposite sex, uh, which basically turns them over to the other side for a couple turns. All right, so we've got our that white mage being raised, but it's going to be our turn here in a second. So probably the archer will be now at, at 30. It'll probably take a couple different hits from a couple different people to. Why are you fucking? Did y'all see that? Uh-oh. Woo! Missed my armor. Very nice. Okay, that works. Ooh, that's actually very poor. Alright, I'm gonna still try and take out their white mages first. It looks like Delita and the other one down there are gonna kill each other. So getting both of these white mages out is going to be priority one. Let's see, what do we got? Who needs healing? Doesn't look like anybody needs healing except Delita over there. Oh, we can throw a uh, potion at this sumbitch. On this action, yes. Attempting to S rank a certain mission in Armored Core Nexus to get a specific hidden part, but then I looked it up. And I already missed my chance to get the part. Aw, oh, that sucks. Could be worse. Alright, rushing my chemist in there to get a hit on the uh, the white mage up by Smug Wendy was probably a bad call. But, uh, hell, we're gonna live with it. Alright, 93% chance to kill. I'm comfortable with that. Yeah! Okay. Once these guys are out, it becomes slightly trivial to get everybody else. Okay, that'll one-shot that guy. That's perfect. Perfect. 
Alright, these two are gonna kill each other, watch. Because I believe she was calling in... Was I wrong? Uh, not today. Silent Line probably won't happen until either this weekend or later this week. Um, it'll depend... Or, uh, next week, excuse me. Uh, it'll depend on what I've got going on. Alright, so there's that one dead, along with some weird audio artifacting. Um, the, I'm pretty sure the Silent Line uh, video on demand is still um, on my videos here on Twitch. I know it's going to be like three or four days before it comes out um, on the YouTube channel. Aw, you hit my, my black mage. How dare you? <laughs> this guy's going to get fucked up here. Uh, but yeah, if you wanted to watch that... Um... Oh, perfect. Yeah, no, that's that's totally fine. You go ahead and, and kill that one. You know what? I really want to get this character out of... out of the archer class as quickly as possible. So I'm going to focus on making him faster, which archers uh, actually have a pretty decent amount of speed to begin with. you for 16, but that'll be fine. No, we're going to move you here. I want to keep him out of Maluda's range. But as you can see, the higher um, they get, they start not being able to hit around themselves, but they can hit further away. 24 for 100, but I can charge. Or aim, excuse me, which is um, uh, the important thing about uh, archers. Damn it. Call me an idiot for attempting that, but what are you going to do? There we go. He's one shot, and Delita will probably take him. Oh, he had uh, the ability to potion himself. Good for you, buddy. <laughs> You're going to survive one more turn. Oh, wow. The fact that he's now got his attack already again. <laughs> That's pretty great. My only concern now... Well, not my only concern, but my concern now is that since that uh, thief can actually use items that that thief... That, 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 wow, fuck me, I can't talk today. My only concern now is that that thief will be able to use Phoenix Downs on some of his fallen comrades, so we're just gonna fucking kill him. There we go, we did it, we the best. Alright, now Maluda, at this point, will be easy. Alright, 20, 16, and 12, so Thunder's the best bet there. Alright means Thundara is also going to be the best bet there. I would have liked to move uh, the archer and my black mage up on top of that building there, but uh, you'd ha I would have to go all the way around in order to get him up there. Okay, there's a good hit. That's all we need. We just need good hit after good hit. Hit that, Maluda! Ha-pa! Should we go back to the January meme and sprinkle some salt on that? <laughs> also, shut up, that's funny. Alright. Aim 2 should be enough to actually get you. If Aim 2 doesn't get you, this fire spell will help. Man, you were just outclassed there, Maluda. Hey, Arby's gained a level. Sweet. How's the uh, stream quality, you guys? If you guys could let me know in the chat. Um, it looks like it's kind of... ...a bit. Um, looks like it's kind of... It's the... The the actual bit rate is still excellent. I mean, that's that's stuff on my end you guys are never going to see. But just let me know. Lay down your sword. Resist us not, and your life will yet be spared. 
We did it. Normally, I just try to kill Maluta there, but the fact that we were able to get everybody um, is really good. Uh, feels good. Feels good, man. 3,300. Extra 700, an iron sword, and a bronze shield. That'll be good for our knight there. Um, it's pretty important to get somebody in the early game um, into the monk class. Um... Uh, because they have healing abilities that don't revolve around using items or magic. Uh, I'm no more than shadow to you, am I? So have my head and be done with it. Do you truly hold us to be so foul? Do it, smug Wendy. She fights as a corpse. Let her become one for true. She's a foe and a traitor, an enemy of House Beolva. The world has no place for such wretches. Her claim to life is forfeit. Spare her now, and you place your seal on the warrants for our own deaths. It's her or us, Smug Wendy. Strike her down. Try as I might, Smug Wendy. I cannot think this woman our enemy. Have you lost your wits? This woman is no more Chatel than you or I. You would turn against our cause, Delita? I ought have expected as much. You deny me even the mercy of an honorable death. A pox on you and your pity. So long as you bear the name Beolv, you will ever remain an enemy to me. You'll do well to remember that. You'll do well to remember that! This is fun. I'm having fun doing my stupid... ...basically reading of this game. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Delita, what have we done? Like, thinking about it, just watching this, it's just, you're just fucking kids, man. Huh. A pox on your pity indeed. He agrees with her. <laughs> Igros, high seat of Galleon. Oh, come on, scratch. Good scratch. The Beolv man's. Uh-oh. Something happened. No, I won't go. Release me. Damn. They took that girl, yo. Be quick about it. <clears throat> You're hurting me. Let go. Zal bag. He killed the shit out of him. One shot at him. <laughs> Time to cut losses. And out he runs. Almar, are you unhurt? Yes, I'm fine. But Titra, yes, I know. Damn, he got fucked up. You find out how fucking strong he is later, so the fact that he got messed up by a couple thieves is kind of a big deal. Lord Brother, worry not, I am fine. Alma, are you alright? They did not harm me, but you, you're bleeding badly. In no fever dream would I have thought the brigade so bold to strike us here. They must have come for me. Five among our guard are slain and Titra taken. Find them, search every den and dovecoat... Dovecoat... If you must. Dovecoat, excuse me. Damn. Please, brother, you mustn't speak. Dead. Nope. Bloody rebels. Dicey Darg. Someone, anyone. What about you? Bro. Alright, next step is to head back up to Egros. Uh, let's see first. Since you're a knight. Let's optimize for that bronze shield. Shields are actually really great in this game, and they get better um, the further on in the game you go. Um, to the point where you can, if I remember correctly, you can actually use them against magic. So everything goes bad here now. I'm told you handled your duties most efficiently. Leave the cleanup work to our brother in our brother's capable hands and take a well-earned rest. You've done well. Fear not for me. My wounds are not as grave as they might seem. Lord brother, what of Titra? Zalbag will lead a full-scale assault on the brigade as soon as their garrison is found. But... The enemy is routed. Less than a score of their number remain. The leader yet eludes us, but time grows short for Vigraf Fols. Vigraf. Hmm, hmm. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. And for Teacher as well, you would leave her to her fate? 
I have taken measures to ensure Teacher's well-being. The attack waits upon her safe returns. Return such time as that may require. Teacher is as a sister to me. I would never turn my back on her. That's a fucking lie, isn't it? <laughs> Think matters through, Delita. Where would you even go? You must calm yourself. Calm myself? My only sister is taken by cutthroats and you would have me calm? I would have you obey reason. We would know not... We would... We know... that that. I can't talk today. We know not where to begin. To search now would be fruitless. <clears throat> fruitless? You speak of my sister's life! You heard my lord brother. He said he would not abandon her, but there's little we can do. Delita, I cannot breathe. Forgive me, smug Wendy. Are you alright? I'll be fine, cough. <laughs> I'd not believe a word of that fairy tale if I were you. Oh, scratch, 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 scratch. You call my brother a liar? I do. I would not go out of my way to rescue some common maid. What did you say? Stab him! I said he would be a fool to hold back an army for fear of f spilling a few drops of your common blood, as I thought. Yeah! Fuck him up. Stop this, Delita. Release me, damn you, smug Wendy. Release me! Punctuation, ladies and gents. Hmph. It's as I've always said. Common blood, common man. You'll never be more than you were born, Delita. You don't belong in our world. You ought to be licking our boots with the rest of your ilk, churl. Damn. That does it. Enough, Delita. And you as well, Argath. Open your eyes, smug Wendy. Delita is not one of us. Isn't It isn't proper that you should mix with such as he. Surely you see that. Delita is my friend and a dear one. We've been as brothers all our lives. And that blinds you from the truth. You've, you're a man grown, smug Wendy. It's time you left the playthings of your boyhood behind. Damn. You're a son of House Beale, of a birth high even among the highborn. Such company ill suits you. Your brothers see this, I am sure, even if you choose not to. Not everyone of high birth is as ill-bred as you. I'll trust to smug Wendy's judgment. And he's out. Be gone from my sight and do not think to return. Your words cut deep, smug Wendy. Are we not friends? Now you're a bitch, bruh. Remove yourself. I'll not ask again. The brigade makes its base at Zeekden, your lord brother told me himself. You have no hope of breaching the fortress from the four. Their defenses are too strong. A rear assault is your only chance. Best of luck, my soft-hearted friend. You'll need it. Be gone! He kind of helped us out, though. I mean, that's, that's kind of cool of him, right? Alright. So that's the way to the thing. Okay. Let's see, is there anything else I can buy while I'm here? I can switch out for the Iron Helm. Nothing for them, nothing for them. A blind knife for her, but I'm not really worried about blind for her. Alright, we're done here. And let's continue on. Before I head up that way, I'm going to do one more random battle. Uh, so we'll be running back and forth here for a bit. So this is one of the new, uh, another one of the new cutscenes they threw in here. This used to just be uh, in engine, um, but obviously they've upgraded it for the PSP version. I actually really like the way they did it's beautiful, these. Beautiful, isn't it? Do you think, do you think Tetra might be watching <clears throat> the same sunset? Like I really like when they do Don't special. I'm sure she like not. filters uh, with three D models to make it look like it's like a two D plane. Because, like, every frame of this looks like you could be looking at a, uh, at, like, a, like a 2D, like, painting. And as far as I know, it could be 2D, but just the way they move, I assume it's 3D with, a, with heavy filters. Yeah, I love the look of this stuff. But I cannot. 
Like this, I... Some stuff was lost in... Tr not really lost in translation uh, the first time through, but the translation was just kind of poor. And this retranslation with the new... Uh, the graphic smoothing for PSP, um, the new cutscenes like this, I feel, and all the extra content that gets thrown into this version, it's really the best package of this game. I know there's a mobile version I've never touched, um, but apparently it's good as well. Um, really, the only problem with the PSP version is that there's, like, slowdown on half the spells, which kind of sucks. Uh, it's not too bad, honestly. I wonder whose house that was, or what stable that was. All right, so like I said, we're going to be going, uh, uh, we're going to be doing a random battle and then continuing on to the end of this act. Um, all right, we can switch out for, let's try and what do we got? Plumed hat, yeah, none of those are good. It's the best robe we can get right now. And I'm assuming, what, there's a couple other rods we can use, but... Oop. Yeah, nothing we can, we can really get for anybody. Yeah, there's still that blind uh, blind knife I can switch out for, but... Whew, here we go. It looked like an arm shield part was actually a shield part. God damn it, so I just totally couldn't pick it up for some reason because I'm an idiot? That sounds like me. So the interesting thing about the the, um, the party composition we have now is that we have one healer and three ranged characters and one close range character, which I've never really run with before. Usually I have one healer, two melee characters, and two uh, uh, long range characters. Um, but we, uh, we actually did really good... Um, in the past, in the last story mission, actually, with that many ranged characters, so I might only have one, like, melee character on us here in the foreseeable future. Those ACs in the same mission are infinitely respawning ones. Yeah, I figured that out, and then the second time I got through it. There's a couple missions we had issues with it in that, uh, in that last stream, but it worked out okay, I think. It's annoying that I ended the stream right at, uh, oops. It's annoying that I ended the stream right at the, uh... If you destroyed those gate things, the resupply vehicle driver will catch up with you until you're at that first drop. Yep. Yeah, we determined, we determined all of that when we went through it. Oh, I got punched! Um, so I know I was talking about how I want to get, um... I want to get all of my, or I want to get at least one of my characters pretty much permanently parked in the monk class for a while. Um, all of them are going to be um, uh, needing to pass through the monk class, or the monk job, excuse me, uh, for a little while here, just because there is a, uh, a skill that's pretty important. Um, can we hit that one too? Jesus, look at this. Just... Everybody can hit these damn things with their range. It's great. Um, uh, there's a, there's a, a, a counter-attack skill, which is just straight counter. Right now, most of our characters have the, uh, the counter-tackle skill. Um, and while that's... Hey, we're just fucking destroying these things. Well, that's actually a really good skill to begin with, uh, switching over to the counter allows you to hit with your weapon. Um, and that becomes important later... Let's see, you can take a hit here? Yes, you are. Okay, thanks, Thunder. Enjoy the stream. Enjoy the video. Yuhinor gained a level. Uh, but being able to counterattack with a weapon or actually using your physical attack instead of just, like, a basic, like, physical attack um, becomes incredibly useful later on because your character basically does as much damage as they can. Oh, he hit me. Oh, my God. All right. Ooh, damn, that sucks. All right, we 
can't hit that one with thunder yet. How about this one? That'll do 41. What about regular thunder? 31. If we hit that there, it'll be fine. Thunder! Kacha! You're dead. Haha. -ha. I got you. I'm the best. Alright, let's uh, get a quick heal on our archer here. I just want to grind out just basically a few more job points for all these characters before I uh, go into something more treacherous. This is one of the big problems with archers is that lots of times it's um, very easy for the archers to actually miss their shots, um, especially if the enemy is looking in their direction. Um, archers are usually best from way up high. Um, they get a higher, a better chance to hit from up high, especially or as well as the. Uh... Damn, what's the fucking word I'm looking for? They have a higher chance to, ch higher chance to hit from up high, high altitudes or high elevation, um, as well as a better ability to. Um, or they have more range when they're up high. Because they can basically aim and let gravity do the rest of the work. Archers are really versatile, but um, they 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 become kind of useless towards the end of the game, uh, just because you get better ranged spells, and the aim spell or the aim ability itself doesn't end up actually being uh, that great. 100% chance to do 28 damage. Alright, black magic. Fire's gonna do not much to him, so. I'm gonna move our mage up. And we're gonna hit you guys with fire uh, and get both of you at once. Let's see, four and four. Yeah, they're not getting out of that. Alright, this one needs to go down. So we're gonna hit that one. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Kill him. <laughs> yeah, look at the slowdown on this spell here. I can't remember if the summoners get it better or worse, but... Uh, you actually might need to use a high potion on yourself. No, a regular potion should do you. The problem is... Uh, the chemist is probably going to go down, take a hit here soon. 85% chance. And then with that, it doesn't really do much more damage. That's still good. Let's see, can you hit him here? 85% chance to do 20. Okay, there we go, there's one down. So we've got this goblin here who can only really hit a smug Wendy right now, and that's fine. And then we've got the uh, skeleton over there to deal with. But that skeleton will be relatively easy. Hit for 40? Shit. What's well, the first damage he's taking? Wow, I can't believe it went after my mage. And not the, uh, not the chemist. Usually they consider the chemist the weakest ones. Alright, I've got an ice rod equipped. I wonder if that'll do a little extra damage here. Nah, just 15. That's fine. All right, let's get that phoenix down in there, since I fucked up and went ahead and let that happen. Oops. All right, there we go. Our chemist is back up. Well, this one ran away pretty hard. The rest of this is just going to be Smug Wendy chasing that bastard down. Can you hit him from there? Yeah, you can. 100% chance to do 16 damage. Pretty nice. One of the things I really like about um, the archers for the early game is their basic attacks um, can hit a lot of people um, just because of the range and don't do too much damage. So you can just kind of sit there and plink them to death. 
Um, now, granted, if you get a lot of uh, if you get a lot of archers together, if you can get five archer shots on one person, that's usually enough to to kill at least like one person per turn. Um, get him! Yeah, we did it. Um, so archers can be a very useful class um, in groups or when working in tandem with other people, but when it comes to actually using archers to get kills, you're not really going to see archers get that many. Uh, they're great for harassing. <laughs> uh, which is part of the reason I'm using them early here, because once I switch out to monk, um, we're going to be losing that range we've got. All right. So now that we've done a thing... Let's uh, learn some abilities, shall we? All right, so we've got all of these knight abilities to learn. We've learned all the equip stuff. Uh, we'll rend weapons, which will help us with this upcoming section here. Right, it looks like that's a, about all you can learn right now. Throw some points into eye drops. All right, how are we doing in Black Mage? We've got a fair amount of... Uh, Fair amount of job points, but not enough to get not enough to get much of what we want. How about here? Then move plus one. Right, how about my archers? <laughs> Barely any fucking job points. I mean, granted, she missed a mission, but what are you gonna do? Got some stuff for Black Mage here. Stuff for night as well. Learn parry. There's some strange formula. Um, auto potion is really good. When you use a potion to restore hit points, triggers hit point loss. We're gonna equip that on her. Actually, it's basically free heals. It's free real estate. <laughs> um, it can get expensive. Uh, but it's not too bad. Oh boy, it is suddenly like 600 degrees in my house. That, uh, fucking heat wave we're supposed to be getting here sure is coming on in force. I am, uh, burning up. Black mage, why not? Learn all your black mage stuff here. There we go. Oh, and you've got the thief thing equipped, or the thief thing learned. That's what, another one of the reasons you stay an archer for a while is because that's how you unlock the thief class. Um, so Arby's here is probably going to go monk for a bit and then switch over to thief. So I'm going to learn the, the major important monk spells and then switch over to thief. And then I'll have a thief using monk spells, stealing stuff. It'll be pretty good. That'll kind of help. If you guys notice, I'm not really spending much time focusing on uh, Delita or uh, Argath. Oops, nope, Data, here we here's where we're going to go. Um, I'm not really spending too much time on them, and it, 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 you don't really have to. Um, it doesn't become important, or it's never important to spend um, time trying to develop or equip... Um, Throw Ada to up there, and throw Arby's. Fuck it, I'll throw Arby's in front, why not? Um, it's never important to spend uh, time leveling those characters. Um, obviously, you can only use them for the story, you can't control them, um, and they come in and out of your party. So there's really no point in like equipping them with the best stuff, because you can lose the stuff. It's actually incredibly annoying. Alright, so there's two places I want to put archers in this level. At least they give us the opportunity to have all five of our people and Delita in this. They guard this way as well. No route is left to us out of these highlands. Then let us lower our weapons and raise the white banner. We gain naught by... If I'm to die, I'd sooner do so swinging a sword than swinging from the gallows. I'll not be led away in chains. Fuck you. So once again, just straight up kill Meluda. Um, this one, it might become more important to focus on that. Um... Because with the Time Mage and the actual Black Mage there, um, that can become a problem. 
Where is Wygraf? What have you done with Titra? Titra, that Beulf girl Gragoroth took hostage? Titra is my sister. No more Beulf than you. Please, she's no value as a hostage. Return her, I beg you. As you nobles return what you take from us, our lives, our dignity, and all else that you have claimed as your own, we ask nothing more than that you return to us what is ours by right. But you deny us even that. You take and take until there is naught left. Save your highborn breath. Your wounds, your words are wind, and no amount of howling will see your sister free. But I, I'm not... This is a cool level. Oh, I did have black magic equipped on him. Oh, she's going to take it too. Oh, no, she won't because run right up there. That's not Meluda. Meluda's back there. Okay. So we'll be able to take out this knife. Knife? This knight uh, first attack here. All right, looks like we don't want to move up that way. These mages become, or these mages, including the, or especially the time mage, become a serious problem later on. All right, so we want to get everybody away from Arby's because Arby's is going to get hit. Um, unless I can just kill this damn thing outright, which I very well may be able to do. Quick black magic here should be able to do the trick and actually cause damage to both of them. Perfect. All right, so we want to get our archers up onto one of these areas as soon as possible. 75%, hmm. You know what, it's worth the risk, especially with an aim four here, because we can do, we can basically kill this knight outright. Uh, black magic. All right, I want to get another one there, actually. Just move up two. Shit, it's not enough. Damn, if I was able to get a little bit closer, I would have been able to hit all three of them. I can't hit anybody there. Yeah, I can still. 84%. Damn! Those shields are great. Alright, so Maluda... Oh, Maluda doesn't get it, but the Time Mage and the Black Mage there now both have haste. Um, which increases their movement, or their AT gauge by like 1.5, I think. Aw, oh, damn. Smug Wendy's gonna get hit. No, God. Next should be... Um, Adita. Oh, no kidding. Just him? That's that's fine. Him getting hit is not a big deal. I want to take out that mage. And then hopefully Arby's over there will be able to kill the knight. Come on. The time mages are pretty easy to kill, so hopefully this next turn I'll be able to take that out. Yes! Perfect! Tactical battle! Oh, looks like the Black Mage is going to be our next... our next mark here. Time Mage is casting haste on everybody. Alright, let's see. Looks like our Arch is going to take a hit now. Oof. Only 20, though? That's fine. Maluda's gonna get haste, unless it mists, misses, there we go. I cannot talk today, this is so weird. Oof. Did y'all just hear that? That was my fucking chest popping. Oh wow, you got a good hit in actually. Good on you. I mean, you're gonna die now, but... <laughs> that auto potion, that is awesome. <laughs> Any damage she takes, it's just gonna be gone at this level. So one hit here, and then the archer should be enough to 
deal with that problem. I would really like to be able to hit that fucking time mage. Alright, 90% chance to do 16 damage. Some shields um, begin to even be able to block magic attacks, which is crazy. Alright, looks like I've got to run Arby's out of there. Which is actually kind of bad. What we can do is we can do a little cat and mouse with this damn uh, knight here, keep her occupied. Looks like it'll take three shots from him to take care of her. Unless we get our mage to help. Okay, 31 for Fira. 31 for Thundara. And 38 for Blizzara. Move you up here. Can you just hit it from here. 95% chance to do 24. Perfect. Yes! This is the way. This is what we want. Alright, we got a fire spell on Maluda. First damage to her. Whew, this is going okay. Right, we got Blizzara on the knight over here, which is going to be followed by aim four. Um, she'll probably jump over and hit Arby's again, uh, but at 28 damage, I mean, that not really hurting anybody. Ooh, you tried to hurt my helmet. I'm gonna kill you. Um, I could uh, make an ill-fated attempt to... <laughs> She's counter-tackling it. Oh, shit! Perfect! Yeah, you suck. Uh, I could make an ill-fated attempt to um, neuter Maluda uh, by using... Oh, I can't hit anybody here. That's fine. Move up here, I'll be able to hit exactly who I want. Problem is, 68%. Fuck it! Yeah! Um. Anyways, in an ill-fated att uh, attempt, I could try and neuter her by destroying her weapon with Smug Wendy here, our main character. Um, but the chances of actually, uh, or an actual successful rend are very low. God, she just isn't doing shit. She's just wasting my goddamn potions. Oh well. Why this struggle? To what purpose do you fight? Have we wronged you? Have we somehow made you suffer? I do not understand what fuels your hatred. It is enough that you can stand before me in ignorance of the misdeeds done us. You may not see the world beyond your high walls, but that does not mean they mark its boundaries. It may well be you've done no wrong. It is your place in the world that drives my hatred on. You bear the name Beulv, and that name is my enemy. Such a good translation. Alright, we're going to take a swing at her. Wow, we actually got her. Shit, and she got me for quite a bit. So I know what our chemist is doing next. One potion should be more than enough. I genuinely have no concern at this point. When the battle starts, if they if they if they get a good enough or if they're able to gang up on you well enough, then it can become a problem. Yeah, Arby's gained a level. Um, it can become a problem at that point. Uh, but up until that point, it is not really a problem. Well, I should say. Oh shit. That'll get her. Here we go. I'm like tripping over my words trying to pay attention to all this tactical information that I have to get. And I, I mean, granted, there isn't much. There's one fucking person and me trying to kill everybody. And all my guys are fine, so I don't know. I'm a soldier of the Corpse Brigade. I will not turn and run. Are you gonna die then? Lay down your weapon, Meluda. The battle is lost. Sheath your blade and let us talk. Surely we can find some common ground. I will speak to my brother. Even Duke Larg himself. You must trust me. False words sound ever sweet, but they are a siren song. I've heard my share of noble lies. I'll hear no more. My words are not false. I'm not lying. Oh, you're going after my archer. 
Damn! Okay, that's the best thing Maluda's done this entire game. Can you hit her? Oh, shit. Look at that. Look at that range. 68%. Are we doing it? Wow, that was it. And we've now killed a woman. That is relevant to the plot. Forgive me, brother. Oni-san. Why? Why must it end like this? What am I doing? What have I become? You didn't do anything. I actually really like the class struggle element of this story, especially right in the beginning here, because they set it up and then they never touch it again. And you're just left knowing that the world you exist in is totally fucked up with this kind of, you know, this feudal system. Silken robe, battle boots, a thousand gil. Very nice. All right, let's take a look at the party roster here. First things first, uh, I'm gonna switch you over to the monk. Uh, and we should go through the process. Uh, actually, he's pretty much set up. Martial arts and fundaments is good. Uh, we're gonna keep her as an archer. Can you learn anything? What have you learned? Nothing. Learn nothing! about the black mage? Do we have more... We learn parry? Oh, we've already learned parry. How about that? Okay, we've got enough for... Poison, I guess. And arcane strength, which we're not really concerned with. And we've unlocked... Well, he'd already unlocked time mage. Uh, which might be useful for him later. Alright, smug Wendy, what have you got? You've got nothing. Great. All right, our characters are good as is. All right. All right, let's check outfitting here. Ooh, ring mail. That's actually going to be really good for our archer. Ooh, mage masher. That's also good. Uh, it causes silence, uh, which can be very useful. Got the ring mail on them. Right, and while we're here, where's potion? There's potions. I'm gonna buy some extra potions here since we have the money. I'm also gonna buy some extra Phoenix Downs. We're gonna slowly nickel and dime our way up to having pretty much full items at all points in time. Um, Hey, it didn't run into a random battle. Okay, I'm going to save really quick, and then I'm going to take, uh, like, a three-minute break here. So, hopefully, y'all will bear with me. And we have saved. All right, I will see you guys shortly. Don't go nowhere. Pretty please, because I love you. Pretty please, because I need you. Hey, Mormont, thanks for the follow, man. I really appreciate it. Um, Thanks a lot. Thanks for following right before I leave. I actually really appreciate it. I'll be back. Like I said, I'll be back in like two minutes. So more fun stuff. See y'all in a second.
Bork, bork, bork. I'm an idiot. Yo, I'm back. Did y'all miss me? Because I missed you. Grabbing some water and extra stuff. Something to munch on, really. All right. Scratch, scratch. And let's continue on with the story to the Fovoham Wind Flatus. What brought you to the stream today, Mormont? Fana Tactics? Or did someone recommend me to you? Either's cool. You know. Why have you kidnapped this girl? We had to take a hostage. There was no other way to escape. Then why not release her once you are clear of your pursuers? Don't tell me this madness has taken even you! The Gorgorath guy looks like he could be a fucking model. I am no Gustav, is that, if that's what you fear. Think, Wygraf, we've lost the greater part of our number, and the Northern Order draws upon us from all sides. She is of Beelv blood. A hundred swords, a thousand could not buy our freedom with such ease. So we fly. What then? Know you some happy haven in which we may alight? In which we... I don't know if I said that right. If we flee, they win once more, as they have always won. We must make our children, make for our children a fairer future than the past you and I have known. They must not suffer as we do. The stone we cast might raise only the smallest of waves, but see how they crash upon the shore. Waves rich with our blood. I don't know what you think's gonna happen, dude, but if you martyr yourselves for your children's future, it's not gonna help you out. Then you order us to our deaths? If by our deaths a single drop of noble blood should water the earth, they shall not be in vain. That is foolish. He's, uh... He's really going after a Fyrick victory here. Actually, not even a Fyrick victory. He's just looking to martyr himself. <laughs> Foolishness! The only blood the earth will drink will be our own. The remainder of our forces should yet be safe in our fastness at Zeekden. We must rejoin them. Together we have the strength to strike. Ugh, I hope I save. This next fight is a tough one. And if they are already dead? Hey, look, a monk. Meluda slain? Impossible. Grrr. The company which slew her must approach even now. Your orders, Commander? We quit this place at once. We shall make for our fastness at Zeekden. The girl will be left here, Gragor Rawrth. Oh, fix my fucking hair here. The northern sky is upon us. They attack! They waste little time. I shall hold them off here, Gragoroth. You will take the others and make for Zeekdan. My fucking... I need a fucking haircut. I will run, yes, but I do not mean to die. All right, uh, this one's actually pretty tough. Uh, we're gonna bring our monk with us just to start off here, and hopefully, excuse me, uh, hopefully we'll do all right. There's one thing we need to do in this, and it's one of the harder things you have to deal with in the, the first act here. Oh man, the fucking sky blow out there. There we go, that's a little better. See that motherfucker? We gotta kill that motherfucker. And he's gonna have a chocobo healing his ass. Your faces are known to me, but I did not know that you would one day kill my sister. Miluda deserved a better death. They did not even send proper knights to kill her. Damn! Sick burn, brah. Choose your sister. I am sorry. I will not flee before her murderers. I'll avenge Miluda's death or die in the trying. <laughs> my punctuation is poor. So we have to defeat Vykrath. Let's do it. Alright, so there's not that many enemies. There's enough for this to be a serious problem. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to stagger where our uh, characters actually are. And we're going to try and focus up our monk as much as possible. Monks have kind of like above average um, hit points considering the fact that they have, like, no armor or anything. Um, uh, but they can do a ton of damage without any weapons equipped. Your sister, then you are a Beowulf, yes? Nine! He is not. If it is a Beowulf you seek, address yourself to me! So Gragoroth has erred, but surely the girl must hold some connection with House Beowulf. 
You draw no distinction between our house and those who deal with us? Should I? Well, it matters not. There is no question as to her release. We make no habit of holding hostages. But first, we have a score to settle. You will see her free if you live to see aught at all. God, the translation in this is so fucking good. I love it. Like, it genuinely preges me. Alright, he's gonna hit. Okay, good. Delita's gonna take the hit. Because this guy can one-hit our weaker uh, members here. Which you're gonna see happen here. So we're gonna rush this fucking guy. And as long as that chocobo doesn't heal him, we should be able to get him in probably a turn, maybe a turn and a half if we're... if we're lucky. Um... The problem now is that the way up to him is being choked by this fucking monk. Ugh! Hopefully we'll be able to get some sort of... Some sort of angle where we can actually hit him. Alright, 42 there. That's, I mean, that's the best he can do right now. Let's see, what's our range here? One, two, three, four, five. Wow, you can already hit her. And... Let's see, what's your aim? Aim 2, probably not going to be able to take him out right. Nope. I'm going to have to waste a turn with another character here to get him. Uh, probably hers. Yep. A message has been received. Oh, it's just an email letting me know that the thing that I already know, that Mormod is now following me on Twitch. Once again, thank you. I appreciate everybody who follows me. It's fun to have people to hang out with on the internet while you play old video games. Okay, good. There's one monk down, which will save us some time here. The problem is this one, though, but he can hit her for 90 fucking damage! Yes! Arby's gained a job level. Alright, I'm moving Arby's right up here. Hopefully Arby's will be able to take a few hits before uh, anything becomes an issue. Oh shit, Arby's is gonna die. Hopefully we can get our uh, chemist over there to... Wow! He did counter tackle for 60! That's fucking crazy. Come on, counter tackle everybody. Counter tackle her! Yes, hit her for 60! 12. God damn. Okay. All right, Vigraph is going to kill him. Maybe he isn't. Wow! My monk might survive this next. Uh-oh! Oh, that's a bad. That's a real bad, bad, bad. All right, we've got to focus now. The problem is that, like, this guy has all the health in the fucking world, and he is hard to hit for a lot of uh, characters that we have here. Woo. Told you all this one was going to be tough. Whew. The good news is, um, I'll be able to save my monk. Yeah, we hit him. Good shit, good shit. All right, so the hope is take out the chocobo and run him the fuck away for the time being. The chemist is going to be doing a lot of work here in the future. And with just... Ah, shit, with just that uh, knight left to help him, we should actually have a pretty easy time of this. Um, one hit from Smug Wendy and one hit from Arby should be enough to get him in critical, and then with the, uh... With the archer actually doing good work. Right, who are you hitting? Wow, you're just avoiding Smug Wendy there. That's, that's great for me. As long as he doesn't actually stop her. The problem is I think the knight's gonna hit. No? Wow, okay. Alright, he's got a counter equipped, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him here. And then I'm gonna die. Alright, if I move her up here. No, I wanna check her hit points first. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that uh, knight is gonna be able to hurt her here. He's got no charge time, so if we aim again. 
With a 72% chance, I feel better than before. Wow. One hit from the monk will do him. Although, it might be better spent. Hmm. Getting a focus in on there will be probably useful for the next turn here. She's going to take the hit from her. And odds are uh, V-Graph is going to hit her as well. My other problem is that I can't reach uh, Smug Wendy with the Chemist right now. So the best thing I can do right now is... What do you mean 0%? Oh, because she... I just tried to use a Phoenix down on her. Because I'm a goddamn idiot. I tried to use a Phoenix down on her. Uh-oh! Actually, no, this is fine, because then uh, Arby's will be able to run up on his ass, punch him, and he's done no matter what he does, basically. Right, can I hit this one now? I can. 75% versus 72. We'll take the better chance here. It's just grinding job points at this point. Because uh, this is the win right here. ha -ta! <laughs> I punched you so hard your back broke, bro. You're dead, bro. You fight well, boy. Forgive me, Maluda, but there is too much left undone for me to lay down my life now. Wygraf, wait. I'm 16. Who do you think sent Gustav to ki kidnap Marquis Elmdor? It was none other than your lord brother, Dice Dark, with Lord Zalbag's approval, to be sure. Absurd, why would Dice Dark do such a thing? The lions vie for power in the void left by the king's death. I speak, of course, of Larg, the white lion, and Goltana, the black. Each hopes to learn who may be counted as friend and who as foe, but such things are not so easily read. Easier rid yourself of those whose loyalty is uncertain, and install others to rule in their stead. I fear Gustav, fool that he was, tired of our rebellion, and fool that he was tired of our rebellion, and was taken in by the silver tongue of your dear brother Dice Dark. Lies. No Beowulf would do such do a thing so craven as this. Incorrect, sir. Do not take my word for it. Judge their actions for yourself. Farewell, young Beowulf. Alright, that was a tough fight, but we managed to do it, and we didn't lose anybody in the process. Wiregraph, coward, you insult my name and flee in the same breath. I feel... Eh. I was gonna say, I feel so much of this plot falls down to the whole Japanese trope of just talk. But they're talking the whole time they're fighting each other. Okay, we get a high potion. Doesn't offset the, uh... <laughs> Phoenix down I wasted on that person who wasn't dead, but what are you gonna do? Ah, delicious. Titra, Titra, where are you? She's not here. Where have they taken her? Vigraf has lied to us. Sometimes I'll call him Vigraf. Sometimes I'll call him Wygraf. Just deal with it. Come, Delita. We must hurry to Zeke Dan. Titra is there. I'm sure of it. Why? Why is this happening? Why, Smug Wendy? Why, Titra? Ah, oh, I'm so sad. I'm going to lay down in this flower. Maybe it's coke. Maybe I'm getting really high right now. I'm sorry, Delita. <laughs> sorry that I super don't give a shit. <laughs> All right, so there's our final fight. Let's see. Can we... He only took, what, three? He only had three moves. So he's probably not going to have much as Monk. All right. There's always fucking people pounding on shit around my house. Anyways, um, Aura Blast is one of the first moves we want to learn, um, followed by Chakra and Revive. Chakra is a uh, close-range healing spell that not only heals, but it restores magic points and revive, uh, straight-up revives somebody. Um, it's a little tricky to use, but it's still really, really good. <laughs> Should have him equip a shield. What else do we got? We've got some chemist stuff to learn, some knight and black mage stuff, but I'm not worried about that. Well, I didn't even bring you with. 
Uh, you're going to be more important because I actually want you to learn your aim skills. And Adita... Adita just... Just the foundation that my party's built on. Just able to heal everybody and cause a little damage with that black magic, too. Speaking of black magic, you get enough to learn something else? No? I mean, you can learn poison, but I'd rather you'd learn a fire, a blizzard, or a thunder. Uh... Because having her, having her being able to do some ranged magic damage is pretty good, to be perfectly honest. All right, we're going to save over our main save here. And we're going to win the day. Maybe. Maybe we'll die. Who knows? All right. We're going to move Smug Wendy and the Chemist in together. Here we're going to do Arby's and Gilbart. Because we didn't bring Gilbart last time. Having access to those uh, second-level uh, magic spells should prove useful for this fight. <clears throat> um, this fight is not very good for uh, archers because you start down low and you get you don't really get much opportunity to get high. Back once you came, quick as shadows, or this one's blood makes crimson snow. Do not think to try my patience. This keep packs such a store of powder as you could scarce imagine. More than enough to deliver the lot of you to the Father's keeping, should your feet lack proper haste. The Order of the Northern Skyle yields, yields not before the braying of rogues. Lord Brother Argath! Titra! Delita! Withdraw at once, I'll not warn you again. This changes nothing. Argeth, loose your attack. Yes, my lord. Okay, so this is what I want to know. Did he intentionally do this? This right here? Or did he miss? I feel like he did it intentionally. Gods have mercy. Oh, you got shot too. Oh, shit. You're all fucked up, bro. Delia, I'm sorry. Tetra. This is a good fight, actually. This is also the conclusion of the first act. Lord Commander, more enemies scale the pass. Two score, mayhap three. A man of Wygref's looks among, moves among them. Very well, we go to greet them at once. I leave the rest to you, Argeth. Argeth, you about to get fucked up with your dumb little comb over haircut thing. Curse the lots of you. Hear that wind? It's windy. Tetra. And where do you presume to go, Delita? You whore-son dog! Is it to be a fight, then? I'm only too happy to oblige. Zalbag, dice dog, how could you? Come, I will show you that common blood makes naught but a common man. I don't know where he's getting these troops and why they're suddenly going to attack us. Because technically they answer to me because of my bloodline. But instead, they're following this guy. It'll be fine. The good news is, I think he actually might be able to jump up there, but I'm not going to try it. I'm going to run him right in here. We're going to get your attack up here, and you're going to have to deal with that knight. All right, so Argeth is a knight that fights with a crossbow that can blind people. Um, which can cause a lot of trouble if he hits your melee guys there. Not so much if he hits your mages, ma bleh, mages um, but it, it can still become an issue. Uh, the good news is, uh, with the amount of damage that um, Smug Wendy can do, he should he should uh, only take a few turns to kill. For some reason, Delita is not focused on Argeth. You would think that would be the one he wants to kill. Ah, shit. He's hoping I can get my monk out of there in time. Why did you do it, Argeth? What moved your hand? Your lord brother's orders, Smug Wendy. What else? Would you have had us kneel before them and offer up the order's honor in exchange for the life of some common wench? She was Delita's sister. 
It is not, is it not time you awoke to the fact that we are different from them? They are of lesser birth and so meant to play lesser roles in life. That commoner and his sister ought never have been here at all. Had they been mongering flowers on some street corner, she would yet live. That's fucked up. It's really fucked up, dude. Alright. He's not going to be able to one-shot her. Oh, he almost is able to. Shit. Alright, I'm actually going to take her out first thing. 14, that's more than enough. That's all I need. Yeah, we can move her up here safely. All right, I wonder what's going to cause the most damage to this guy here. I want to take him out. 36, 36, 36. Damn. Nothing good will come up this. All right, it looks like the knight's going to take a fire hit. Oh, they're both going to take a fire hit. Perfect. Any damage done to him is positive here. Um... It's not a matter of hitting him one or two hits. It's a matter of causing damage to him in as many terms as pot Turn, turns as possible. Why can't I speak today? Oh shit, that's a fucking problem. That much damage? He never even got a chance to hit that fucking knight. A one-two combo is really bad. All right, I need him to survive uh, because of the amount of time we put into him, so that's where my fucking chemist is going next. Aw, oh, you threw a stone at Delita. He's actually going to draw a lot of hits here uh, just because of his, um, how weak he is. What of you, Smug Wendy? Why do you now raise arms against us? To turn your blade against us? is treason. You would turn your cloak and name yourself a traitor of, to the Order of the Northern Sky? But the Order would never forgive what you've done. Does your naivety know no end? He is being really naive. How ironic is fate that one such as you would be born a Beulv. A Beulv. Alright. Yeah, they just keep fighting. That's totally fucking fine by me. He's blind now. That's not good. Eh, if he gets one more magic attack in, we'll be fine. This is a problem now. He's not hitting for much, but between him and the fucking black mage back there, that's going to be a problem. Make your peace with the god. Pe peace? Fuck me. Make your peace with the gods, Argeth. You die by my hand. You're really going to just heal yourself there. You should have. You should have done your best to, like, cause damage to him, you fucking mouth-breathing idiot. Right, 65 damage on her, that's fine by me. My birth was not of my choosing. Spare me the bleeding, you are no sheep, you are a beul, self-chosen or not. Yours is a line of champions, of lords among men, to do great deeds is your destiny, and your duty as well. Much is there that cannot be done save by your hand. It falls to you to see it so, to act where we cannot. I will not be made a puppet. You a puppet? Don't be absurd. The puppets stand before you, Smug Wendy. Long have we danced for House Beal that it might rain on history's stage. A dance that serves our ends, to be sure. The Beal name is our shield, behind whose aegis we've long thrived. It is the way of things. People are used and uh, use others in turn. How do you think you came to be where you are? You are loath to be used, yet you fain use others. Even your so-called friend, Delita. What do you mean? I believe it's my turn. Delita, you're hurt. Speak not to me. When Argeth falls, my vengeance turns to you, Smug Wendy. Fucking why? I ain't done shit to you, brah. Delita. All right, so here's our first major hit on Argeth here. 66, that's a good hit. We done good! Alright. We want to move her ass over here and try to... Try to get a phoenix down off on our monk, on our Arby's, as quickly as possible. We can't reach him here, unfortunately. So, my focus will be black magic. 28 to him? I... maybe. Yes, I will do this.
Alright, that's not gonna work. Alright, so where's your turn? He's probably gonna be going next. The good news is that fire is going to hit the knight as well. So even though I'm going to have two fucking downed people over here to deal with, um, I will be able to take out that knight in one or two turns with one of my characters. All right, thunder on that knight should kill it. There we go. Perfect. I mean, I've got two people down. It's not fucking perfect, but... Are you actually able to hit him from there? Fucking broke my shield, brah! I'm gonna fuck you up, brah. I should really be focusing on Argeth here. And he's dead. She it. Should have healed yourself instead of healed your blindness, bro. Do not pretend ignorance. You know what must be done for name's sake. You've made that much clear on Mandalia Plain when you put orders ahead of aiding me. So there's a little flavor text you wouldn't have gotten if you decided to try and save him, which I did not. I... So basically, our character is a spoiled little brat. Um, who basically uses his name and blah 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 for his convenience, and that's it. Alright, here's hoping I can get another crit on this son of a bitch. Nope. Looks like I may have to do this. Just to win. Alright, 19 for fire. 19 for thunder. Come on, blizzard. 19 for blizzard. She it! If I could have gotten her a little closer to that son of a bitch. Oh, don't kill her, don't kill her, come on. Okay. As long as one of the knights doesn't fucking take her out. Oh, and she's got the auto potion. Nobody's taking her out. Wish I could have used that on the other characters. And we're going to hit him with Blizzard, and one more hit will do it. This is a very tough fight, especially with the, the, the uh, makeup of my party here. All right, you're taking a swing at him. He's not going to go down from hits here. She might, but one way or the other, uh, Smug Wendy is going to win the day here. Wow. And another auto potion? No, wow. Shit, he's not going to be able to hit him there. And I might actually lose my monk here. If I lose my monk, I'm saves coming, just so you're all aware. Um... Hopefully it doesn't come to that, and we can finish it here. We did it. Okay, cool. My fucking remotes just fell off the table for some reason. No! Not at the hands of Milk Sop Rabble! What's that mean? What does that mean? We did it. We the best. Noinch, noinch, noinch. I don't know. All right, 7,900 gil and nothing special. No big, no big deal. Let us keep on keeping on, shall we? With our sick new cutscenes. Only in the PSP version, I think. I think it's only in the PSP version. I don't know if it's in the mobile version. This place looks a lot more impressive when it's not some... Shitty rendered battlefield. Look at the size of this thing now. It's actually pretty good. Uh-oh. Something's happened. This voice, voice acting is not great. He does sound like a spoiled little 16-year-old idiot, though. I don't know this number. Back to the game. He's dying! Ah, shit. Delita. No! He's exploding. But we didn't see him die, and it's a Japanese game, so that means he couldn't possibly be dead. I had lived my life the only way that I had known. Yep. I can actually fix this a little bit here. Crashing down, Oops. I did not stand and watch them fall. Come on. Come on. I turned. And walked away. 
So basically, he learned how fucked up his life is. I mean, not really fucked up. He's got a great life. He just doesn't like how it is with everybody else. Um, I actually like the translation of that in the original PlayStation version a little bit better because he basically says... He doesn't say he turned and walked away. He says he ran. All right. So that's the end of Act 1. We're now going on to Act 2, which means we got to fucking grind because shit gets harder here. So, let's see. We've been streaming for about an hour and 40 minutes. I'll probably stream for another half an hour. Um, just of grinding and whatnot. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that. Um, and then from there, I'll take a lunch break, and then from there, I'll come back and probably stream something else. I'm not sure what yet, uh, but we'll find that out when we get there, because, yeah. What's this, Smug Wendy? Do you know him? Dot, dot, dot. Ellipses. Remember these people? He carries the princess with him. They'll not be able to travel far. You mean to give chase? What else? I will not return to the crown in Shame. <laughs> that was intentional. Well, you'll not have help from us. Our agreement said not of this. I would not accept your help if you offered it, ass. A true knight is all too eager to set right what he has let what he has let go amiss. The Lion's Guard will serve the king's justice. Lavian, Alicia, we leave at once. Bring back my porn. They took my porn. No, oh, I don't know. Elder Simon, you are unharmed. The princess, what of the princess? Agrius Waifu. Yeah, Agrius is Waifu. She is taken. I am sorry, but you may put your fears to rest. We'll go to rescue her. She's really good when you get her for the party later. No, no, my lady, you mustn't. You would only throw your own life away. You worry, your worry will find no purchase with me. A knight is oath-bound to render AIDS. You just said AIDS. I, I didn't mean to say AIDS. I'm HIV positive. That I didn't mean to say AIDS. Oh, I'm I'm an ass. I'm sorry. Oh God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I want to go with you. I'll be no trouble to you. I swear it. Nonsense, Smug Wendy. This is no concern of ours. I must go. I must know if it's truly him. I saw him die in a very Japanese way. Or he never die, huh? The boy, huh? I love him. Well, there it is. Gods know where this path leads us. I think he actually comes along with us. Chapter Zvi, the manipulative and the subservient and taint. Taint. I don't know. <laughs> all right. So they give us access to these characters. We're going to take all of them. We're going to take their shit and we're going to dump them. Lad, Alicia... Because uh, it's a way to get free items and Lavian. <laughs> we're literally going to take them, take all their clothes off. We're basically robbing them because we're assholes. <laughs> Alright, so first things first. Let's rob us some Knights of the Order of the Sword of the Taco Bell. I don't know. Gilbert, Alicia. That's some pretty good stuff. Dionysia, Edita, Arby's, we didn't get anybody else. You bet your ass we're taking all the stuff off of Gafgarian. I don't give a fuck about him. Her will leave on. Alright, and he's basically gonna get all of Gafgarian's gear. Alright. Power Gauntlet. Does what? Increases attack by one. Huh. I kind of really like having Battle Boots equipped, just because that extra movement... You know what? I'll try Power Gauntlet. Optimize. He's good. Optimize. She's good. She's good. They're all good. Okay. Alright. So our next step is to dismiss these new characters I got. Cool. We just robbed a bunch of knights. <laughs> All right, let's go to Dorder. Oh shit! There's a fight immediately. I forgot. Whatever. No big deal. Black mage, archer. Mm, we need our chemist. 
I want to stay. I want to stay as ranged as possible for this fight because it's a bunch of fucking uh, uh, thieves again. <laughs> so now that we're in the second act, we immediately get an upgrade to all our uh, all our items and stuff, which is one of the reasons I did like I grind I grinded out one or two random battles um, before actually completing the first act. A purse of 500 gil per head. This coin I lack, not wits, two talcent, or you can stick them yourself. Mayhap you forget the ease with which men are branded heretics. Damn. Threats is it? A thousand then. Seven hundred I can offer no more. Done. Let it ever never be said I was aught but a pious man. I pray your newfound piety lends not itself to mercy. They will be here soon, and I shudder to think of your fate should any of them survive. No sooner speak the devil's name than he doth appear. You've work to do. Best be about it. You don't see that guy again till much later in the game, but he's kind of a big deal. His face also looked all dirty and shit. It looked like he had like a five o'clock shadow or something. Gods be good. That's Sir Gafgarian. 700 ahead for this. Come here, boys. Oh, girls and then boys. So they have archers and the archers are a fucking... Yeah, they're a problem. An ambush, this day grows lovelier by the hour. If you'd not fight, the road home lies behind you. Whilst I make no habit of charity, I could not well abandon so goodly a wench to rogues. Damn, he's like, I'm gonna tap that ass. Do not patronize me, sir. This ass is chaste. <laughs> Defeat all M&Ms. He can run right the fuck up to us. And charm. Ooh. Oh, damn, it worked! We've lost an ally already. Aw, oh, shit. Oh, he's gonna take care of the problem. I think. Either that or it just hurts her. Shit. <laughs> Maybe I should have left my women back in camp. It's very... It's very misogynist, but uh, all these dude thieves are going to be a fucking problem. <laughs> I didn't realize my camera angle was so messed up. Damn. We are having problems. At least they have crossbows and not actual longbows. If they had longbows, they could sit at the top of this level and just kill all of us. I think Bess might have one. Yep. Look at look at how good the longbow is. She can hit half the level. It's crazy. Luckily, the black mages aren't going to be doing anything yet, and I'm immediately wrong. I don't want to get near. Him. Move him up. All he's good for at this point is just hitting people, which is fine. All right, the attack was. Centered on her, which means I can come up here. Oops. That's the attack here. 12 to hit him. Or I can hit several people over here with black magic. 24 and 21. 21 and 24. Let's try fire. 21 and 24. Okay. Whoops. So either way... Oh, wow! That actually did save her from her fate. Ah, shit. It's showing me offline. Hey, guys in the chat, if I'm still online, could you just let me know? Could you yell at me? Sometimes it just does that and it just shows it, and sometimes it actually goes offline. Hopefully the stream isn't having any connection issues or anything. Son of a bitch. I hate when this happens. Let's try a quick refresh and see. Hmm... Hover to view. Offline. Oh, nope. There we are. I'm back on. Are we good? Looks like we're good. Sorry about that. Sometimes just random stream issues. Y'all know how it is. All right. My... Nope. Yeah, we're good. My first order of business with her should be moving her up to hit more shit. Um... The problem is from where I am. 
All right, I think we might be able to take out the archer and that guy there. So that's 62 and 47. It's fine by me. Ha! You suck! All right, so here's our first hit against those two. Agrius is the only one that's going to get hit by his uh, magic attack. Uh, but the next round, I've got a lot of characters clustered together that may prove to be an issue. Ooh, shit, and a Thundera. Ooh. 58, that's a lot. That's trouble. That's trouble Alright, and here's Fyra, killing at least one of them. She's gonna be close to dead. Yeah, that slowdown sucks, but what are you gonna do? Alright, so there's a thief down. Yeah, and we got him too. Alright, what's your what's your plan? What are you doing next? Are you trying to charm again? Yeah, you are. You're gonna miss this time, idiot. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, I guess Gafgarian's there to punch her in the face. Is that what you need to do to make women fall out of love is punch them in the face? Are we are we are we now in the Sean Connery school of how to deal with women? If we do if we are, that's fucked up. <laughs> Oh, looks like she's going to take him out. Perfect. That works for me, and that gets her away from groups and away from those fucking mages. Aw, oh, you threw a stone at me. You're so... You're so edgy. Edgelord. Archer. Right, what's this one going to do? This one's going to move up. If y'all stick together, you're going to make this way too easy for me. The issue now is that we're all going to get hit. All right, he's focusing on him. Hopefully they both focus on the mage. Because what I can do is I can run him up. I just kill him outright with a swing here. Come on. 84. Yeah. Go fuck yourself, bro. Right, next order of business is... Taking out that archer. The difficulty level has changed tremendously here between the end of the first act and this act now. All right. So we can do 28 damage there or 20 damage here. I'm actually going to have her aim up on that other archer there. Another big problem is that, let's see. If he gets hit with a like a, a second level spell, he's going to be hurting. He might be straight up dead. Let's see. Oh, just a base level spell. That shouldn't be too bad. 30-something damage, maybe. Yeah, 37. He can take that hit. That's good. Das ist gut. Get a fire spell on him. Agrius is going to hurt him. Um, and then it'll be down to... Probably our chemist, Adita. I think her name's Adita. I don't remember the names of any of my fucking characters. <laughs> At least the ones I haven't named. Oh, you, you healed me. You're so nice. So nice. You wasted one of my high potions, which is genuinely not necessary, but well, whatever. All right, who are you shooting? really like hitting Gafgarian there. I wonder if that has something to do with the amount of just gonna slap me? You're stupid. Oh. So that effect that just happened, that was, um, that's what happens when you have the ice, fire, or lightning rod equipped. Uh, sometimes there's a random chance, um, that the attack will cause, uh, the, a first level, um, black magic spell of that type. You got four health left. A quick shot from the archer should hopefully do it. I'm gonna have, except I'm going to have to move my ass to get the hit in. 100%. 100% chance of die. We cannot linger. We must find Lady Ovaries. I don't know. Shut up. <laughs> and how shall we do that? Call out her name and hope she comes a-running? Her captors have but one place to go, the impregnable, the impenet impregnable, that's where I go, the impenetrable walls of Fourth Besselet. Then we must lose no time. Let's sprint, 
Let's sprint. Let's run. Let's be like, are we going to get her? Should we throw our arms back behind our body and run with our face forward like the fucking Naruto's? Should we turn this into the Naruto stream? Flame Rod, Mage Masher, and Phoenix down. Very nice. All right. I've got one more grind left in me, and then we will conclude the Final Fantasy Tacticals stream for the day. Um, I think we're also going to make our way over towards the uh, castle uh, before we do anything here. All right. Uh, outfitter. Fitting. Optimize. You can't do anything. Headgear and Mithril Vest. Let's try some stuff on. Do you have... I have the Red Hood equipped. I have a better... I have a silken robe for him already, so I'm not going to put anything on him. Oops. All right, let's optimize headgear and a mithril vest. Extra 14 hit points, that's good. The main way you get hit points in this game is not through leveling, it's through equipping items. Um, there's no, like, um, level requirement for items or anything, so if you get new characters at the end of the game, they can operate kind of on par with your older characters just because they can have the same amount of hit points and magic points, they just have less skills. Um, Alright, headgear and mithril vest. Yep. I'm not really worried about your... There we go, an extra six hit points for each for you. Shoulder cape, battle boot, battle boot, battle boots. We got it. We do it. That'll be 69. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do a quick save. And we're gonna make our way over towards the castle. Um, hang on. Party roster. Let's very quickly equip upon you this silken robe to increase your magic points. Now we'll save. If I didn't do that then, I would have forgotten it and I would have suddenly discovered that I had it again another time I was trying to buy shit to put on them. Right. Let's head to Garland first. Check out the outfitter. Shouldn't be anything here. Still trying to headgear and mithril vest it. The mage masher. Yep, we're good. Alright, come on, castle. Come on, castle without a fight. Ah! Okay, there's our last fight. We'll fight this. We'll go to the castle, get some new shit, and then continue on. Black mage. Archer. Chemist und monk. There we go. Let's go! So yeah, this is more my usual setup. Two melee two ranged, and one dedicated healer that can also do damage. Usually ranged damage. Um, it seems to serve pretty well. The problem is lots of times when I get ranged, or when I get melee characters, I can't get them to a point where they can hit people. Um, and then I have trouble in, like, a couple specific story battles and whatnot. Um, and stuff like this, not gonna, we're not really gonna have that much of an issue. Alright. So this is going to be a focus fight where we just hang around and you know, wait for the panther to show up and hit it hard. The red panther party. Chocobo will be easy to deal with with all the ranged characters we have. All right, I want to get this monk up to speed, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep using Tailwind on the monk. Um, Getting a couple ranged attacks and the healing spells on the monk is uh, kind of critical for these next couple fights we're going to be dealing with here. Aw, oh, I silenced my uh, archer. You hit that already. You can hit that. 69%. We gonna hit it with the 69. Yay, yay. I'm a fucking child. Excuse me. I apologize. I apologize for my childish behavior. As Hideo Kojima said, I am ashamed of my words and deeds. It doesn't make quiet any less of a sex object, though. Good job, Kojima. Alright, we're going to keep focusing here. It's all about them job points. It's all about getting those skills up because you become more versatile with skills. You don't need necessarily any of the skills outside of actual the heal, actual healing skills um, you really don't need them um, so what it really comes down to is just making your characters more versatile it's one of the nice things about this game because if you lose a character towards the end you have lost a significant time investment um, 
So being able to just equip items on the character suddenly um, and, and bring their hit points and magic points up to speed helps towards starting to level them the way you want them leveled. Hey, we got a little hit in there. That's not too bad. I'm not worried about healing her since she's got that auto potion. Can I hit that one? Nope, I cannot. You hit him now. Yep. Another 69%. And it missed. Should have just been focusing. Yeah, you know what? We're just going to focus. The, the damn uh, archer's going to wait till the chocobo comes around. Chocobo's going to get one shot about the fucking monk, though. I'm going to punch it so hard its beak is going to shatter. <laughs> and I know that sounds fucking brutal. It probably is. Well, I mean... Probably is the wrong word. It absolutely is. <laughs> Things gonna get hit hard. All right, you're running right in here. Yeah, you're hitting running right in here. Oh, the slowdown on that, just because of the, just because the effects, man. 16 damage on him, and then it'll be on the archer too. Like, I'm not even gonna. <laughs> I'm not even gonna fight back here. Like, the counter attack will be enough to probably put it into critical and get it to run away. Shit. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm not even going to attack with half my characters. This is going to be funny. You're going to hit me. Ow! You hit my girl. You hit best girl. And it did an auto potion. That's good. I think they changed the way Auto Potion works. Uh, auto Potion used to proc every time you took hit point damage. Now I think it only procs when you take hit point damage below a threshold of your lowest level healing item. Which means that whenever you take more than 30 damage total, then a healing item is used. I could be wrong on that. Probably wrong on that. But I could also not be wrong on that. Oop, nope, I don't want to wait. I want to focus. Focus! Focus your power! My only big problem with Agrius is that, as a knight, she's slow. So you have to you have to go through the trouble of actually equipping things on her um, to get her up to speed with everybody else. But she becomes a beast, uh, matched only by Sid later, and obviously eclipsed by Sid. When you actually get some 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 speed on her, and then keep her at in her initial class. Um, let's see, who can we potion? You're fine. You're fine. I'm not really fine, but what's your health sitting at? I wonder if that'll be able to hit her or hit him. Him is in the chocobo kabo. Chocobo Kabo. I'm an idiot. Nope. That Chocobo is gone. Oh, God! So here's where the Chocobo gets one shotted. Uh, 76. Damn. I mean, I could just focus with her. And that's going to hit nothing. Wasting time and job points. And actually, I'm going to just fist this chocobo in its butt. Y'all ready for the fistening? 112. 112 fisting damage. Great fist. Critical fisting. <laughs> Something wrong with me. I'm sorry. Should rename the stream to Critical Fisting. That would be poor. But funny. Probably. Probably not. Alright, let's see. You gotta get on there. Yep. Eager to return the damage I've caused. Alright, we're almost there. Almost there, almost done. It is time for the fist. 176 damage. <laughs> Shit. Let's get the tail 
one on you. There we go. Get the speed up higher. Man, that's slow down. It's the one bad thing about <laughs> about this version. Right, can you get this hit in? Finally. Hey, look at that. You got some J points. Alright, how's your So that one's gonna die. Goodbye. Kachonk! The second fire spell, like if you look at it, the fire kind of appears underneath the animal's balls and then goes by the balls and then wraps around to its face. Which is uh, kind of the most brutal thing I've ever heard. If there's a fire, I don't want it to be anywhere near my balls. I, I, I think that's probably a near universal sentiment. Arby's is punching harder than Smug Wendy is doing with the punches. Alright, 5100 gil and nothing special. Okay, cool. Alright, we're gonna go up here and buy some stuff and conclude Final Fantasy Tactics for the day. Egros Castle! Right, let's go to the outfitter. Buy! No, wait, I want to go to fitting. Optimize, nothing. Optimize, nothing. Optimize, a better bow that causes ice damage. Fuck yeah. Optimize, nothing, and optimize, nothing. Okay, cool. All right, so now that we've uh, finished this for the day, um, I will be back in probably about a half an hour after like a quick lunch or something for another stream. Uh, but as for this stream, I want to thank everybody who came out today. I uh, really appreciate you coming and spending time with me. Uh, if you're just hanging out and you haven't followed yet and you liked what you saw, you should definitely follow us to catch more of this stuff. Um, uh, this stream will be archived over on our YouTube channel, which you can find in the links below. Also on that YouTube channel, we do um, funny one-off videos and full Let's Plays and stuff like that. Uh, so, for instance, right now, my buddy and I are in the middle of a playthrough of lawn mowing, apparently. No, we're in the middle of a playthrough, a co-op playthrough of um, uh, Resident Evil 5, which is an absolute blast. If you guys haven't seen stuff like that, I would recommend you actually check it out. If you like that kind of stuff, you should definitely check it out. And if you like what you see while you're there, you should definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you follow our um, uh, words I can't think of, if you follow our Twitter, which you can also find below, um, you will be able to get uh, Twitter updates on um, when we're doing our streams, what we're streaming, stuff like that. Um, that's, that's where you're pretty much, except for the Twitch channel itself, where you're going to get your updates on what's going on with the channel. Um, yeah. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Um, I definitely did, and hopefully I will catch you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. I love you all. You all are my favorites. I, I platonic th love though. No, no, nothing sexual. Uh, we're not getting weird on the Twitch channel. Goodbye. <laughs>